right, guys, you're going to be getting a lot of videos this week because I have a whole week off. Because uh, this is what happens. My school district, uh, um, they used to give this week off in February for some reason. I don't know. There was a reason why. Then they stopped doing it. Then now, that's why last year I didn't make videos during this time, really. Well, not as much. But this time... I'm going to be making a lot of Starcade reviews because I have a whole week off from school. You might be expecting one a day, I'm not sure. So, yeah, so I have a whole, this whole week off. That's why it's Monday and I'm doing videos. Real, uh, I usually do videos on Monday, but it's later in the day. So, Starcade 1995 review. I'm not, I don't really like the lighting in the room today for some reason. This doesn't go good with the outside because pretty dark and gloomy outside because uh, we have like snowing and shit. So Justin Thunder Liger defeats Chris Benoit in the opening match. It's very nice to see the new era of WCW with the cruiserweights um, and Benoit's and the Eddie Guerrero's and also this this is another concept show that I like uh, reviewers to call these shows uh, where it's um uh, they do a new concept. This concept was it was Japan for New Japan for wrestling versus WCW, and they did seven matches against each other. One from Japan, one from WCW. Then whoever won, won the match gets a point. The whoever gets four points wins, and they win the the cup. So Justin Jushin Thunder Liger. Defeats Chris Benoit, so they get the first point, two and three quarter out of five. Um, pretty good to match, opening match, pretty fast paced. Uh, Ko Koji Kenmoto defeated Alex Wright, two and a half out of five, so it's two to zero. Lex Luger defeats Masa Chono, three fourths of the star, very bad. Not a fan of Lex Luger, one third of the package, that's what I like to call him. Um, so it's one to two. Johnny B. Bad defeats Saito. Uh, really shitty match, half a star. Johnny B. Bad, aka Mark Marrow. I watched that a very emotional speech he made. I was on Facebook. Check it out. Um, half a star out of five. Very shitty match. Uh, Ut Utani defeats Eddie Guerrero. This is the best match of the night. Four and a quarter out of five. A lot of great moves in this match. A lot of high flying stuff in here. You have uh, Eddie Guerrero doing a lot of uh, Hurricane Rana's. Um, Otani doing a lot of springboard drop kicks, springboard uh, cross bodies, springboard uh, somersault planches. I think he did. Eddie Guerrero, I think, did one point in the match at a springboard moonsault. A lot of a lot of high flying shit in here. Uh, and then he had a series of roll-ups to end the, sh end the match. And the referee counted really fast for the Japan guy. So the score is 3-2. to two. Uh, New Japan winning. Macho Man defeats Tenzin, uh, star and a quarter. Uh, Tenzin did a couple of nice uh, uh, leg ringers in the match. Um, he did some nice... Uh, arm drag takedowns um, in the match he did a nice uh, leg ringer leg ringer takedown which is pretty nice nice leg lock in the match um, Macho Man this is, uh, these guys they came from WWF at the time that were pretty big stars didn't have the same oomph that they did in the du in, uh, WCW I mean uh they didn't have the same oop when they came to WCW. Like they all their momentum kind of crashed and burned. You know, Macho Man still had some nice pops and everything, but he was getting booed in the main event, probably because he was from WWF, and they didn't use him the correct way. They didn't. He didn't have the same feel. He didn't have the same momentum that he did in the WWF. Uh, so, yeah, talked about that in the DVD. Macho Man's DVD, Star in a Quarter. Sting defeats Kes. Kensuki Sasaki, star and a half, really sh not a good match. Sting goes over here. Ric Flair defeats Sting and Lex Luger in a triangle match. I was going to give this four stars. 
But then when old Sting and Luger started fighting, it just got so fucking boring. And it was like one third of the match they were fighting. Rick Flair, I just wanted Flair to get into the match, but no. You had to have these bullshit people. I mean, Sting, not bullshit. You had to have one third of the package versus dominating Sting the whole match. And he had like three fucking moves, so it wasn't fun at all to watch. And for some reason, the psychology did not make any sense. He was working on the midsection, and but his finisher is a torture rack, which he, he should be working on the back. He didn't work on the back at all, which is weird. Plumbing blows the whole match, the whole time they were in there. Nothing special. Ric Flair wins by a count out, three and three quarter out of five. Pretty good match though. Uh, Ric Flair defeats Macho Man. This sh they had a phenomenal match in uh, at WrestleMania eight in the WWF. I think a four and a half. I gave it four and a quarter. I don't know, but then this they come here WCW. Macho Man does in the match is shit. 2 out of 5 stars, paper gets a 6.5 out of 10. It was like an up and down show, pretty weird show. So yeah, 6.5 out of 10. See you guys later, peace out.